China's PL-17 air-to-air missile, with a range of 500 kilometers, is designed to hunt down early warning aircraft. Can this airborne spear break the surveillance hegemony of the U.S. Army's E-3 watchtower? When the J-16 fighter jet is carrying a six-meter-long white bullet across the sky, its deadly payload is rewriting the rules of air warfare. Compared to the PL-15 missile's conventional range of 200 kilometers, the PL-17 strike radius directly covers the typical detection distance of 400 kilometers of the U.S. military's early warning planes. And how will this range generation difference subvert the logic of attack and defense in modern air warfare? How will this difference in range subvert the logic of attack and defense in modern air warfare? The PL-17's tactical value is revealed in its basic parameters. Its 6M length and 500 kg weight far exceeds the specifications of current OAM, and its 30 cm diameter body adopts a unique light bar wingless design with a dual impulse engine to achieve a top speed of Mach 6. Together, these features point to a single operational goal, destroying high-value air nodes outside the Animus Defense Zone value air nodes outside the Animus Defense Zone. Its composite guidance system integrates radar active homing and infrared imaging technology with two-way data chain correction. Even in the face of electromagnetic interference cloud released by the E3 AWACS, can still maintain 0.3 meters of terminal accuracy. This configuration makes PL-17 the world's first anti-AWACS specialized ultra-long range OAM. Its 500 km effective range not only exceeds the Russian R-37M's 400 km record, but also more than triple the 160 km range of the U.S. Army's AIM-120D missile. Compared with its predecessor PL-15, PL-17's tactical innovation is reflected in three dimensions. The first is the extension of the kill chain, 200 kg class combat unit with kinetic impact effect, can tear open a two-square meter breach in the radar skin of the AWACS. The second is the leap in the ability to break through the defense. The speed of Mach 6 compresses the target's reaction time to 83 seconds, which saves 37% of flight time compared to the PL-15's Mach 4. The most important thing is the integration of the combat system. The J-16 fighters can detect the AWACS at 520 km away by means of active phased array radar, which can be used to detect the AWACS through data transmission and data transmission. The most important is the integration of combat system, J-16 fighter can find the early warning aircraft at 520 km away with the active phased array radar and through the data chain. It can guide to form the closed loop of a shooting and be guiding. This configuration makes the PL-17's operational range break through the energy limitations of traditional AM and when launched at an altitude of 8,000 meters with the help of parabolic trajectory. It can even reach targets 600 kilometers away. The survival space of the U.S. Army's current early warning aircraft is being dramatically compressed. E-3, Watchtower, equipped with AN, a PY-2 radar on the fighter target detection distance of about 400 kilometers, just in the PL-17 must be killed zone. More fatal is that the PL-17's inescapable zone has a diameter of 120 kilometers, which is equivalent to the formation of a death airspace equivalent to the width of the Taiwan Strait at the end of the missile's flight. Even if the AWACS takes emergency maneuvers, its cruising speed of 550 kilometers, H will make it difficult to escape from the six times the speed of sound death pursuit. This asymmetric advantage forced the U.S. military to accelerate the E-7. Wedgetail, AWACS replacement program. Its new Mesa radar detection range of 600 kilometers, but the window of time until 2027 to form a combat force has been enough PL-17 to build a complete tactical deterrent system. At the level of system confrontation, PL-17 brings not only the generation difference of weapons, but also the paradigm shift of air combat mode. The traditional air combat, within visual range of entanglement, medium range bomb interception, Long-range bomb deterrent, three-level defense is compressed into a single over-the-horizon kill. AWACS from the battlefield information hub reduced to a priority hunting target. The U.S. military projected air war model in the Taiwan Strait, carrying PL-17 J-16 fleet, if out to the middle of the strait. Its fire radius can cover the Okinawa Kadena base landing E-3 fleet, forcing the U.S. Early warning aircraft retreat to Guam Anderson base which will directly weaken its battlefield sensing ability up to 73%. This tactic of using bombs to control aircraft 
is reshaping the balance of power in the Western Pacific when the threat radius of the PL-17 coincides with the striking range of the Dongfeng-26 anti-ship ballistic missile. There will be a fatal gap in the joint air-sea blockade system within the first island chain. The launch of the PL-17 also triggered a chain reaction in the development of air combat equipment. In order to combat this ultra-long-range threat, the U.S. Air Force urgently launched the Long Range Project, attempting to integrate a new missile with a range of 300 kilometers on the F-15X. But even if the program is put into service as scheduled, there is still a 200-kilometer range gap. Even more disruptive is the PL-17 catalytic effect on manned, unmanned cooperation. With the attack 11 stealth drone forward reconnaissance, J-16 can be launched in complete silence, blind fire, by the drone through the quantum encrypted communication relay guidance. This method of warfare makes the traditional electronic countermeasures ineffective and pushes the initiative of air warfare to a higher dimension of system competition. In the field of missile technology, PL-17 shows China's military breakthroughs are more worthy of in-depth study. Its use of gallium nitride T are components so that the radar guide head detection distance increased by 40%, enough to lock the B-2 stealth bomber 250 kilometers away. Flexible ramjet engine technology to crack the range bottleneck of solid fuel missiles and multi-mode composite guidance system in the Gobi target range test had successfully penetrated eight layers of electromagnetic interference network to hit the target of simulated early warning aircraft. These technological deposits are not only reflected in the performance improvement of individual weapons, but also signify that China has formed a complete technological tree in the field of ultra-long-range air warfare. Observed from a strategic perspective, the deterrent effect of the PL-17 has long transcended the tactical level. It forces opponents to withdraw from the chain reaction of early warning aircraft, will directly weaken the effectiveness of its shipborne aviation combat, E-2D, Advanced Hawkeye, shipborne early warning aircraft of 470 km detection distance in front of the PL-17 is also precarious. This suppression effect in the Dongfeng 21D anti-ship ballistic missiles form an air-sea integrated firepower network so that the carrier battle groups have to deploy at a longer distance. When the PL-17 and J-20 stealth fighters combined will breed a subversive stealth sniping tactics Five-generation aircraft with stealth advantage to break into the range, and the enemy without warning launched ultra-long-range missiles. This model of downward strikes is redefining the concept of the sixth generation of air warfare boundaries. The launch of PL-17 coincides with the key point of the global air warfare system change. It's 500 kilometers range to set a new benchmark, not only forcing countries to reassess the deployment strategy of early warning aircraft, but also heralding the over-the-horizon air warfare will enter the era of triple-digit range. In this round of equipment competition, China's military industry with six meters long white bullet body delineated a striking starting line. When the missile range breaks through the radius of detection of the early warning aircraft, the rules of the fight for air control has been permanently changed.